graph 0 0.04 on the number line. So here we have this number line that goes from 0 to 0 0.1 or 1 tenth and between 0 and 1 tenth we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal spaces. So each of these spaces represents 1 tenth of the distance. It's 1 out of 10 equal spaces. Or we could say it is 1 tenth of this tenth. It's a tenth of the way to 1 tenth. That's a little bit tricky. Maybe let's pause and look at that visually and think about what does a tenth of a tenth really mean. So here I have already drawn a picture that's divided into 10 equal pieces. And if we shade one of them, then we're shading 1 tenth. This right here is 1 tenth. And this amount right here is what the number line showed. The whole number line showed 1 tenth. But then we had divided that tenth into 10 equal pieces. So if we split that 10 into 10 equal pieces, we're going to have something like this. So here again, this top row would represent the entire tenth from the whole number line, but each little piece would be one of those one tenth of that whole tenth. Or, so this is what each little piece on the number line represents, or we could say that's one one hundredth. A tenth of a tenth is a one hundredth, because when you divide ten into ten equal pieces, you're going to end up with a hundred pieces. So a tenth of a tenth is a one hundredth. So looking back at the number line, now we know that this distance, a tenth of our tenth, is a one hundredth, and we want to graph 0 0.04. Well, this 4 right here, this 4, let's think about place value, the zeros in the ones, the next zero in the tenth, and this 4 is in the hundredths. So we could call this 4 hundredths, or even the fraction 4 hundredths. So if one of these lengths is 1 hundredth, and we want to go 4 hundredths, then we're need, going to need to go four of these lengths. One, two, three, four of these lengths would be four of the hundredths, or 0 